Hey, Tubers. Bart coming at you. Stacks of cards. Um, opportunities to shoot videos. And a little time alone has been few and far between lately, so the videos have been a little bit slow lately, but it doesn't mean I stopped picking up cards, that's for sure. Um, so, I don't know. Two weeks for the cards here coming at you. No particular order. I have been bidding on these for probably about three years <laughs> and just had a set price and just kept bidding that loan price and finally won one. So Johnny Stockton, um, I think I'm only like five or six cards deep into my NBA set, the loan NBA set that I'm doing and it's top 75 for NBA. It's a little hard to, the sets in, it and, in the basketball side of PSA registry a little bit I don't want to say more difficult, they're uh, not as interesting is really what the answer is uh, because the basket, the Naismith, Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame um, is that it is just basketball. It is not NBA Hall of Fame. So uh, you've got foreign players in there. Uh, you've got N WNBA players in there. You've got people that achieved, uh, you know, great heights in um, college basketball and then not so much in uh, pro and still making those types of things so that's not what I was looking for uh, but they came out with a top 75 NBA uh, set and that's what I'm chipping away at um, always chipping away at the baseball one and uh, never really looked at this one too hard uh, knew it went for a decent decent amount just because it's a 71 uh, but was randomly looking at the sets, and uh, this was a 4.0 multiplier in the Baseball Hall of Fame set. So I figured I'd pick one up as I just chip away at the moving up the ranks on that one. I'm not very high, but uh, I'm well over halfway done to the for the Hall of the Post War. There we go. That's the words I'm looking for. Contenders: First Team All Pro Talanoa Hufanga, uh, Mint Nine here, and. At the time I got this, PSA 10 was only pop one. I will try to get his optic in the PSA 10 as well, since he's a, an all-pro guy, but we'll see. No promises there. Leave this tape off of here. Um, just got signed by the Falcons from the Ravens as a free agent, Calais Campbell. Uh, not putting much numbers up these days, but what he's doing is he's and he's he's kind of stated it outright in interviews over the last couple of years. He's been hanging around trying to get to a hundred career sacks, and as a defensive tackle, that is a hard accomplishment. Someday, you know, twenty five years from now or something like that, and bets committee, he can be a, uh, a Hall of Famer, but. Just picked up that rookie. Can slab it myself, and it's well centered at a minimum, so that's good. Uh, I should have done you guys better and took some tape off before I started this. Uh, you know how it is. It's just sometimes the piles stack up, and all of a sudden it's like, ooh, I got a free moment. Kids are asleep. Just got caught up picking up some gold sapphires. So here's one, Andrew Stevenson, out of fifty. Super cheap. Uh, which you can't beat for that design, but uh, never quite made it. Has has kind of gotten called up, I think, five consecutive years now. Um, so not necessarily a young, and I think he's about twenty-eight or so. But cool card. Okay, pick up. Uh, um, I think I've said it already, but the Nationals are fielding the Triple A team this year. It is. Mm, mm, mm. It's not good. It's not good. The guy that led the league in pitching losses for the last two years, led in MLB, was our opening big pitcher. Let that marinate for a minute. So all we got to do is hope for the youth to do something. So that youth um, is two pitchers, Mackenzie Gore and Isaiah and Josiah Gray. Um, who took the loss today, Josiah. And then uh, a shortstop, C.J. Abrams. So, I'm picking up a couple of those guys. You know, just trying to stay connected. This is a sweet atomic refractor out of Bowman's best.
from 2022. He has very few rookies, as I stated before, that are actually in Nationals. Most of them are in Padres. But opening night, 0 for 4, strikeout, 3 errors at shortstop. That's not exciting. <laughs> so we'll see. Um, there's another gold sapphire. And I just kind of got on a roll picking up the Nationals. There's way more than I thought there would be uh, for a team set here. Uh, out of 50, Cesar Hernandez. Those are beautiful cards, though. One of the nice-looking Schwarber. So, out of finest insert here. It's the prism out of 35. Didn't stay long, but made a pretty big impact for the time that he was there. Um, this would be his third year. Still hoping for good things. I picked up the Luis Garcia at a 373 there. Chrome refractor. There's the aforementioned Josiah Gray. That's out of 50. That is the gold um, Ben Baller. Um, I don't know. I was just cruising around and found that one for like a dollar. So, Joan, Joan Adon, pitcher, auto there. There's another Josiah Gray. I thought this one was cool. This is Cherry Blossoms which our alternate uniform has cherry blossoms on it. They wore it today, actually. But this is a Japanese issue as well, so I thought it was kind of cool. And that's numbered out of 99. Um, oh, I picked up a whole team set of these. These were those 52 Chrome flashbacks from last year. I picked up a whole team set, but most of them are centered, just absolute garbage. So I kept the Scherzer. And then I kept one of the, the rookie in there, Sterling Sharp. So, we'll see. There's a rookie catcher, Jackson Sheets. He's our number two catcher at best. Um, how old is this guy? Let's see, about 15 or so years younger than me. So, he's still not young as far as baseball goes, but cool card. And then here's another one, Gerardo Parra. Again, those are out of 50. Sweet looking cards. What went for probably 50 or 75 bucks last year, you get for five or six this year. So there's a Luis Garcia SP from Tops. It's a rookie, it's a rookie card too. Keeping it moving. I just wanted to see what this looked like in person because it looked like it was painted. If you can see that. Kind of a weird design there. It's kind of like the canvas one. So Don Russ rated rookie. Um, Davis Price is his name. I think he's from LSU. But not going to get much play time. But I love me some rated rookies. If you're a baseball fan and you held on for this long. Well, I guess you saw some gnats, but... A little vintage kick. And wanted to get some 33 Gaudis, a couple more. So picked up the Vernon Lefty Gomez. That's a nice PSA 2. Um, got a great looking PSA 1, Heine Manouche. I have his other one, number I believe. It's like number, nah, it's a 2 something. It's 2 something. Whatever, 216. I think it's in a pile over here. I'll show it to you now that I've mumbled my way through it. No, it's in 47. So, I already had one and two. Got the other one. But a nice one. Wait Hoyt, another Hall of Fame rookie there. Not huge on horizontals, but a sweet 2.5. So building up that 33 Gaudi PC there a little bit. Always looking for some artist proofs. Got this Bosa. And my collecting's all over the place these days. But that's what I like about it too. Um, some Zenith from this year. The Bosa artist proof out of 50. Nowadays artist proofs are so popular there's multiple variations at insert levels and stuff like that. Um, so that subset has its own variations. 
I really like this one. Pulled the trigger. Kind of was doing some assessment of my All-Star Cup and All-Star Trophy cards. And some of the guys I collected because they were an MVP that year or they were Rookie of the Year. Um, you know, their first year. So then I picked up their second year All-Star Cup or something like that. A lot of those guys have fallen off. So um, as I, you know, curate what my long-term PC will be, what will display in All-Star Cups. There's some guys that just don't, you know... The card isn't good enough anymore. He didn't do enough type of thing, and that card has fallen off. His popularity fall off, etc. So, as I was assessing who makes that list, Arenado's definitely one of those people as an all-time great. And uh, I had his All-Star Trophy from Heritage, but I didn't have his cup, so I picked that up. Um, first ballot Hall of Famer. Just was needing to get this one for the registry. PSA 10s of Roy Halliday from Bowman Chrome 97. They go for like 450 still, so wasn't springing for that. He wasn't necessarily a guy I tracked too closely. You know, 97, you're talking late high school for me, and then you go into college, you get your, you know, your career start. I wasn't watching sports quite the same way then, so happy with a 9 on that one. I think uh, there's only like 52 first ballot Hall of Famers post-war. Um, I got 10 to go in that set. Save that one for last. Uh, picked up this. I've been looking for a, a nice LeVon Hernandez for the Nationals. And, well, I thought I'd find something graded eventually. Instead, I got the Topps Archive Signatures LeVon Hernandez. This is the 2006 version um, of the card. And that's out of 25. All right, just looked at it and already forgot, but... I absolutely love archive signatures. Um, I, you know, I'm not the biggest auto guy, but I do like some of them. I like them to be nice and clean. Um, very evident that there's an auto there. You know, I hate seeing autos that you can barely see that is there, whether it's a dark backdrop and dark ink, etc., etc. So I like these clean tops ones that have them. And then uh, I love the fact that they are sealed up already. Um, if I'm buying an auto, I'm buying it because it's an auto. It's kind of, a, it's a PC item more than it is like one of those value, I, you know, I, there's still value ones in my PC, but you know, this isn't one I was going to care about too much, but I still want to preserve it properly. So to have it nicely sealed in a mag, don't have to worry about it. I think it's great. Um, I have a big fan of these. There's not enough nationals in these yet. And then, you know, there are some sellers out there that obviously hold you hostage. And there's a lot of Juan Sotos and Bryce Harpers and Scherzers that are all just one of ones. Um, so, always on the lookout for those. But happy to pick that one up. And then the last one. A little story to go along with this. But I'll let the shine uh, enamor you for a second first. 05... Gold X Fractor PSA 10 of Frank Gore out of 399. Pop 34 on these. Spitting on this. Hit up another Niners collector who who has probably a couple of these already, but he's always known for picking up more of them. Shout out to you, Nathan. Um, and I hit him up. Say, hey, you bidding on this? Because I didn't want to chase it per se i'm still stingy with it i love me with some deals right and he's like i should be able to get it for about 400 and i was like that's what i was thinking and because my bid already was in at like 375 because uh, i still wanted a deal it was worth 400 but i wanted a deal so i put in a bid for 375 i was winning for a good bit and then the last day it jumped a little bit and then it the listing ended, i.e. sold, I guess, for like 926. And there were like six bidders that had a higher bid than me. But I was like, this is BS. I don't know what that's about. Um, and then he hit me up like with a me Facebook message. Man, it went, went way crazier. And he was like, that's good for me because I got a couple of them or something like that. And then I was, and, and I was reading it. And then all of a sudden I jumped over to my eBay app. And I texted him back, and I was like, it's bullshit, man. Because they sent me a, um, what are them, second chance offers at what my high bid was at 375 
And uh, he talked me into it after that and back and forth. You know, hey, that's a pretty good deal. You should get it. And I was like, man, I don't like, I do not like, you know, sending money even, you know, for that shysty business. Because there should have been six guys that bowed out and that did fake bids on there for shills or whatever. But still got it for what I properly should have, despite it almost getting stupid out there. So happy to have that, that gold X-Fractor. Three ninety nine, some good shine there. So that's what I got for you. I have uh, been continuing to. Well, I haven't talked about it much, but every month or so, I've been sending complete randoms from the collection to uh, Four Sharp Crowers for consignment. It's been going great. Uh, I have been selling some rices, uh, about fifteen twenty at a time. Um, I'm not, you know, looking to, to purge them quickly or anything like that, but there's no reason for 14 or 1500 graded rices. Uh, I don't have an end state in that that game, uh, and there's there's no way to finish that collection, as it were. So, kind of just doing that, and then kind of just with those proceeds honing in on what my my long term PC will be. Um, going through if there's nines that you know hey if this is going to be a long-term pc i should get the 10 especially when it's a downward market and i'm doing some of those um there's some fantastic cards that uh I, you know i just love hall of famers and i'm like all right well if i've got that in a two why not get it in a four or five if i think it's going to be a you know a mainstay in the collection so as i pare down and sell so many cards well then i can you know get one better more proper card for the long-term pc um that happens from time to time uh it always helps me do that when i'm moving or moving things around um obviously i haven't filmed from the the, the man cave lately um there's plenty of reasons for that it doesn't really exist anymore um and so as i had to move all of that collection and stuff around for storage and things it's like all right well maybe it's time to I have so much that I have to move and things, so uh, it's a catalyst for that activity. But I'll stop mumbling on a Saturday night. Thanks for watching. Shout out to the shine and some vintage. And until uh, next time, later.